This is the second section on algebraic fractions uh, from chapter one, a pure year two book. And um, you should find this pretty straightforward. Um, it's just uh, the rules for fractions, but applied to algebra. So knowing what we do when we add, subtract, multiply and divide algebraic fractions. So if we add um, or subtract an algebraic fraction, we need to make sure we have a common algebraic denominator. If we multiply um, our algebraic fraction, we need to make sure that we do top times top over the bottom times the bottom. And uh, watch out, see if we can cross cancel um, before we do the working that will make uh, our working easier so always look out to see if you can cross cancel and if we divide algebraic fractions kfc keep the first fraction flip the second change the sign and again look to see whether you can cross cancel once you've done the kfc part okay so let's have a look at these dead easy right in the first one, 3 over 5 times 5 over 9, uh, straight away I'm going to look to see if I can cross cancel. So divide both of those by 3, divide both of those by 5. You see you end up with a much easier question. 1 times 1 over 1 times 3. It means you don't have to cancel down at the end. We'll do the same with B. We'll see if we can cross cancel A over B times C over A. Yes, we can cross cancel. So we can cancel those A's out. So we end up with 1 times C over B times 1. So we end up with that. C, we want to do the same thing. See if we can cross cancel 6 plus 1 over 2 times by 3 over. Now, when you've got an algebraic fraction, it helps to... Um, actually write things or factorize things into brackets to see if you can cross cancel now x squared minus one difference of two squares so that's just x plus one x minus one now what that means is is that that and that cancel out just giving you one so it makes the working much easier so just three at the top and at the bottom 2 times x minus 1. I don't need to expand the brackets, I can leave it like that. So cross cancelling really important, especially when you've got these algebraic fractions, otherwise you just end up with something that's a bit of a nightmare to simplify. Okay, uh, this one here, uh, we've got a division in part A. So keep the first fraction, change the sign, flip that, Right, cross cancelling opportunity here. There we go. So C over B. Part B, X plus 2 over X plus 4. So this is going to be times by the reciprocal of this fraction. Now we want to factorize that fraction so we can see if we can cross cancel. You're not going to see it if you don't factorize. So the difference of two squares at the bottom and at the top, I can get x plus 2. Oh, I just realized I haven't flipped the fraction. So let's write that as divide and then we'll flip it. So x plus 2 over x plus 4 times by x plus 4, x minus 4 and then three, and then x plus two. So right, what happens here? That and that cancel out, that and that cancel out. So that just leaves x minus four at the top times by one and one, so you don't need to do that, over three. Look how simple that becomes if we do the cross cancelling. If you don't, you will end up with a bit of a mess. And here we're adding some algebraic fractions and we just need to make sure that we uh, give these common denominators so these some nice easy questions here so um, 
the 1 over 3 times the 3 quarters of times um, both of those fractions at the top and the bottom by this one by 4, this one by 3, because there is no common factor with 3 and 4. So I get 4 over 12 plus 9 over 12. So I get a final answer of 13 over 12. I can leave it in proper like that. Um, so a over 2x plus b over 3x. Now they have x as a common factor. Um, so I only need to multiply the first one by 3 and the second one by 2. I don't need to times by x, 3x and 2x because they've that's already a common factor. So I end up with 3a over 6x plus 2b over 6x which will give me 3a plus 2b over 6x. You can't simplify that any further so you'll leave it like that. On c, so I've got 2 over x plus 3 minus 1 over x plus 1. No common factors in the denominators so the first one I'll need to times by uh, x plus 3, sorry, x plus 1. And the second fraction, I'll need to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 3. Right, so if I do that, I will get 2 x plus 1. at the top and then x plus 3 times x plus 1. Whatever you do, don't simplify what you've just written down, otherwise you'll end up going back to what you've just written down as the question. And then x plus 3 over um, x plus 1 times x plus 3. So now I've got the same denominator in both. Uh, don't uh, multiply out the brackets. We want to keep it like this to see if we can cancel down, and we can. x plus 1 there and there, and x plus 3 here and here cancels down. Now remember, when you cancel down, you're not left with 0, you're left with 1. So all I'm left with... Um, ah, right, let me correct that, because we're not multiplying or dividing. So, sorry for my mistake there. We're not cancelling out, we're not multiplying and dividing, we're adding and subtracting. So, what I should have is 2x plus 1 minus x plus 3, it's more like it. See, even maths teachers make mistakes. x plus 3, x plus 1, right, okay. So... Um, now what we do is, well, all we can really do is just simplify the top. So expand our brackets, I'll have 2x minus x, and then I'll have 2 minus 3, and this will be my final answer. So your cross cancelling is really important, and don't make the mistake I made, treating a subtraction as a multiplication. Okay, so you're now in a position where you can do exercise 1C on page 8.